under your leadership, sustainability will come from technology and right from the technical education. I'm sure that in your leadership, India will go ahead in technical education. Now we have next speaker, uh, Major Harsh Kumar. Major Harsh Kumar is secretary of uh, NCERT. NCERT is India's national curriculum agency. Uh, NCERT provides the content and curriculum books, and notebooks, uh, topics to uh, from the grade one to grade 12. So we'll be happy to learn the, um, uh, Major Harsh Kumar's or the NCERT story and NCRT vision to making an Indian student more greater than before. Yeah, Dr. Harsh Kumar. Sabhi ko pranam. Maa Bharti ke charno mein vanna karte huye. Maa Surasati ki na karta hu. Aur yaha par upasthit sabhi mahanubhavo ko pranam karta hu. Very good morning to everybody. Uh, Dr. Abdul Rashid, Honorable Minister of State for Education Republic of Maldives, Honorable uh, uh, Professor Anil Shrast uh, Viren Ravadji, and all the esteemed uh, guests and uh, guests present here. And I'm very thankful to Green Mentors, Viren Ravadji, to give me an opportunity to put the what NCRT is doing uh, in the present scenario and what are the plans and how we are going about it. First of all, uh, as Professor Anil Sasbuddeh has said that it has, from time immemorial, uh, our concept has been Vasudhaiva Kutambakam, that entire world is our brother, entire world is ours. We are all one. And secondly, Sarve Sukhi Bhavantu, Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sabhi Sukhi Rehe Puri Dunya Me. Everybody should be healthy and happy. And that has been the actually the cord and the base of our education, which I think has uh, been lost somewhere in the mid. Or uh, it was not lost, but it was condensed to a small uh, place or to the spots of the place. But now with the visionary uh, leadership, and the uh, vibrant uh, leadership and uh, you see India to it is you know we have always like we said that uh, we talk about as India as a leader but we have always taken everybody together and that has been our uh, thought process so this you can see in this new education policy also that uh, basically it is being pressed on the Indian values and how uh, like it is uh, our thought process that uh, the aim of education is to become a good human being, Manu Rubhava. If you are not a good human being, so whatever you are doing, it's not fruitful for the society. So we have to uh, go together. So in that process, a child, how he learns, and that is why the stress has been given on early childhood care and education. And that pattern has been changed from 5, 10 plus 2 pattern. Earlier it was 10 plus 2 pattern, but now we are going to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Some salient features which I would like to put point wise to keep everybody together that what are the salient features of our education policy. Uh, you know, that ensuring that universal access at law levels of schooling from pre primary school to grade 12. Ensuring quality early childhood care and education for all children between three to six years. New curriculum and pedagogical structure that I already told you that five plus three plus three plus four. And the very important aspect is that there is no hard separations between arts and science, between curricular and extracurricular activities, between vocational and academic streams. Then establishing national mission on foundation literacy and numeracy, which is again a very important point that we are uh, stressing on. Having said that, that there will be no hard separations. However, the uh, foundation literacy and numeracy that should be learned by each and every kid. Emphasis on promoting multilingualism and Indian languages, the medium of instruction until at least grade five, 
but preferably till grade eight and beyond will be the home language, mother tongue, local language, or regional language. Now that is, this is also very important as we know that child learns in the mother tongue maximum. He understands the thing, he assimilates and understands. So that is why this stress has been given that he should be taught in the mother tongue. And you, as you know, that in India, we in Bharat, we have got uh, kos, kos par uh, vani badle char kos par pani. This is a local, this is a saying that, you know, every four kilometers, the language changes, every kilometer language changes and every four kilometer water changes, the taste of water changes. So language means it is not only the, uh, it, is, it is the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, in the uh, language and uh, there is a very distinction between what you speak it is hindi only a dialect of hindi uh, but marathi like you say or odia if you uh, understand if you uh, actually listen to it you can understand it very clearly uh, these are just boli uh, so this is very important point which i want to bring and then assessment reforms, another very important uh, point that board examination on up to two occasions during any given school year, one main examination and one for, for improvement if desired. Then setting up of a new national assessment center, that is a PARAK, a performance assessment review and analysis, analysis of knowledge for holistic development equitable and inclusive education, special emphasis given on socially and economically disadvantaged group, a separate gender inclusion fund and separate special education zones for disadvantaged regions and groups, robust and transparent process for recruitment of teacher and merit-based performance. I'll coming to it that in the role of NCRT, uh, it's a very, uh, there are four uh, major roles. That is one is the research, the name itself defects National Council of Educational Research and Training. So it is the, uh, on the basis of research, a curriculum is made on the basis of the curriculum, syllabus is made and the textbooks accordingly. So on the basis of research, uh, which research is an ongoing process in NCRT, uh, then pre-service teacher training and post-service teacher training. That is also very important aspect that we have got our regional institute of educations at Ajmer, Bhuvneshwar, Bhopal, Mysore, and Shillong, where uh, the teachers are trained in uh, Bachelor of Education, BA, MA in various streams in science and arts. And uh, that is the... Uh, it will be uh, now the entire uh, country is going to follow what we have been doing for so many years. Uh, now four years integrated BA uh, program is going to be introduced all over the country and uh, NCRT has been doing it. So, uh, and the quality of teachers which have been trained from NCRT is uh, excellent. And uh, that is, uh, that is, this is one of the most important uh, work of NCRT. And uh, uh, in fact, we have got demonstrative multipurpose schools also, which are at uh, all our RIs. Uh, now, uh, coming again back to the uh, new education, what point wise I wanted to convey that setting up of state school standard authorities, exposure of vocational education in school and higher education system, increasing gross enrollment ratio in higher education to 50%, like uh, sir has already told about that. So I'll not be touching about on the higher education, but uh, of the uh, primary education, I told you the major uh, thing is that there is no separation of subjects from six class onwards, uh, their stress will be on vocational training and uh, students can take uh, any stream they want any combination they want. Yes, we are working that how that will go and catch up with the higher education, like Sir was also saying that so many things are being thought uh, on. And, uh, you know, uh, about the curriculum and all, as I told you that uh, curriculum framework, if you understand that it is a plan that intercepts educational aims, 
vis a vis both individual and society to arrive at an understanding of the kinds of learning experiences schools must provide to the children on the basis of that it is curriculum is the best thought of that set of planned activities which are designed to implement a particular educational aim and now since our aim is to inculcate values and to uh, uh, sir was a very uh, anil sir was very correctly saying that you know it you have to understand and implement it so first of all uh, a thing has to be understood rather than rote learning so stress is planned on that that one can be musician one can be a teacher one can be a soldier whatever one uh, is good at so this entire education system is going to be uh, rebooted to back to values and so that a child uh, does not searches for job is rightly pointed out with him and he provides job uh, a group of uh, people you know can, they can provide job to hundreds of uh, students so we should not be looking for job and that is what the aim of our leadership is that to make india more vibrant and in, independent in true sense that everybody is creating job so on the uh, on that uh, thing only and uh, to develop empathy among students among kids not sympathy to uh, problem solving skills you know to learn 21st century skills uh, in a proper manner and now this pandemic has been such an opportunity that our schools our teachers they have come up uh, you know they have adapted to the situation so beautifully but at the same time now we have to understand that uh, uh, the technology which is uh, to basically to empower us and not to overpower us we should not let the te technology overpower us and there is no no alternative to face to face teaching because until unless there is face to face teaching we cannot understand the child and the responsibility of parents that has also come forth the responsibility of society that has also come forth by this pandemic and um, we have handled it very beautifully and uh, Uh, our education policy has got all this thing in in uh, in built before the pandemic uh, has come so just see the vision of the people who have made this policy so this is all uh, you know, from my side if there is any question about what else ncert is doing uh, one uh, one more thing which i must tell you that in all this uh, period of pandemic ncert has uh, 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 built so many programs uh, online programs and uh, the entire textbooks that are available online uh, the new uh, this uh, for uh, the curriculum for the uh, pandemic period was made uh, new syllabus or new this thing was made for this pandemic and it came within two weeks of the pandemic uh, there are so many uh, programs which has come up Uh, the pm e vidya program has come up uh, started by the uh, uh, on the initiative of the honorable prime minister uh, in which uh, there are 12 channels which are there uh, which ncert is running 24 hours uh, from class 1 to class 12 which is not only available on doordarshan but also on the private channels like airtel and other channels it is available and uh, it is run for various uh, from class 1 to class 12 and uh, this uh, improvement on this and increase of programs number of program is going on and if you go uh, we have uh, in this pandemic period the uh, special guidance and counseling actually a guidance and counseling course is being run by ncert from last 25 years and uh, in this pandemic period the guidance and counseling was open for the children of all uh, over the country uh, it was decided divided regionally where we have got our experts and uh, it was available free of cost so so many things has been done and on the uh, school education we are in the process of the new curriculum framework and accordingly uh, uh, the things which i told you so with this i uh, end and uh, jai hind jai bharat i am ready for any questions or anything which one has got in the mind
Thank you, Major Hans Kumar. Ji. It was very uh, inspiring story and the way in, uh, the NCRT is doing during the pandemic and reaching out to every student in every corner of India and in many languages and with many subjects. It is great work and we are proud of our National Curriculum Agency and uh, you are doing great. I'm sure that the content provided by the NCRT will take India to the world and to lead uh, in the, in the, especially in the curriculum sectors. Now, uh, thank you very much. And uh, now we have next session uh, that is a, a technical session, the approach to all learners and 